the first set of questions that we're going to do here have to do with constructing line segments, angles, perpendicular lines, and creating uh, bisectors for angles. Now hopefully you guys have been studying your vocabulary and you know what all these terms mean. If not, I want you to take those um, study terms and uh, go over them again. That way you know exactly what we're talking about. Question number one. If point X is the midpoint of line segment TV, which of the following must also be true? Now, one of the best things you can always do with these word problems is draw yourself a picture, especially with geometry. So if point X is the midpoint of line segment, remember a line segment is finite. It has two endpoints. T, B. If X is the midpoint of line segment TV, which of the following must also be true? TV is equal to TX. Well, let's see. TV is equal to TX. I don't think that one's true, so we can eliminate choice A. TV is equal to VX. I don't think that's true either, so we can mark that one out. TX is equal to VX. That may be winner, so let's go ahead and circle that one. And let's just make sure D is not correct. Point T, V, and X can be connected to form a triangle. Well, we've already connected these points and they obviously don't make a triangle, so your answer is C. Here's a longer word problem. The diagram below shows two steps in a construction. One step shows the distance between point C and E being measured on angle CDE right here. So in other words, we are taking a compass and we're measuring how far apart C and E are. The other step shows the same compass span being used to swing an arc from E prime here. So in other words, we've got an angle, we've drawn an arc, and then we're using a compass again to measure how far apart C and E is. And then we're taking that same compass with the same compass measure and measuring here which construction is being performed. Okay, And the choices are, are we copying a line segment here? Okay. Now, if we're copying a line segment, all we would have to do was just measure between two points and draw ourselves an arc on the second one. And I don't think that's what we're doing here. So we can eliminate A. Drawing a perpendicular bisector of a line segment. Well, a perpendicular bisector is going to look somewhat like that. So we can eliminate choice B. Copying, copying an angle. Well, that may be a good option for us because it looks just like we're trying to copy an angle because... At some point, we're going to get a point here and draw a line through it. And it looks like we're copying an angle. But let's go ahead and look at choice D to make sure it was not right. Drawing an angle bisector. Well, if we were drawing an angle bisector, we'd be drawing something like that. We don't have to create a new angle in order to do that. So our choice is choice C. Now let's take a look at this construction right here. And the question is, which construction is shown above? Okay, and you can see here, we've got a midpoint and two endpoints here. And it looks like we've taken our compass and gone a little bit past halfway and swung the arc up here. And then taken the point of our compass and put it back out here and swung it up again this way. And it's asking what construction is being shown above. And when it says what construction, what that means is, what are we doing? All right, what are we drawing here? Choice A, copying a line segment. Well, again, if we had a line segment, all we would do is measure between point A and B, make ourselves a new point down here, A prime, and then swing our compass out, make an arc here, and then draw out to copy that line segment. So I don't think that's going to be the right choice. Drawing a bisector of a line segment. That may be a good option here. Because it looks like we're drawing a bisector, splitting in half this line. Okay, so let's uh, keep that one in the back of our mind. Copying an angle. Well, if we were copying angle, it would be just like we were in an old 
the last problem we had. We would draw ourselves an arc here, draw ourselves a new ray, and pull that mark here, and then try to measure between here and here to draw that angle. So that's not the right choice. And D, drawing an angle bisector. Well, again, an angle bisector, we would be trying to find the middle, and that's clearly not what we're doing here. So the choice is B, drawing a bisector of a line segment. Choice B. Using the same drawing, which statement must be true of the construction above? I'm going to have to move my paper back and forth here. A, point Z is the midpoint of line segment MN. Point Z is the midpoint of M and N. That may be a very, very good choice. Let's go ahead and circle that as a possibility. Point M is the midpoint of MN. Well, that's kind of ridiculous. Point M is the midpoint of this line segment right here. No, line, point M is actually the end point. So we can eliminate that choice. Line segment MN is congruent to JK. Line segment MN is congruent to JK. Well, we really don't know, all right? And you can, but you can really tell by looking that it's not. Otherwise, if these two were congruent, this would actually make a circle, a complete circle. All right, and we obviously don't have that here, so we can eliminate choice C. Choice D, line segment MN is congruent to JZ. Line segment MN is congruent to JZ. Well, that's obviously not it because we have a very, very short section right here and a long section right here. Therefore, our choice is choice A. Number five, angle RST below is a right angle. Hector wants to draw a new angle, X, Y, Z, that measures exactly 45 degrees. All right, and remember, a right angle is 90 degrees. He wants to draw one, a new angle that's 45 degrees. Which of the following constructions could he use? In other words, what could he do to accomplish that? If he wants, if we know that this is a right angle, which is 90 degrees, and he wants to make one half of that, okay, what do you think he could do? Could he copy RST only? Well, if he copies RST only, he's going to have the exact same angle. So that's not the choice we need because that's 90 degrees also. Bisect only S line segment ST, okay? Well, if I'm going to bisect line segment ST, I would basically be doing this right here and drawing a line over right here. Well, that in no way is going to yield us a 45-degree angle. All right, so we can get rid of that one. Construct the perpendicular bisector of ST and then copy ST. Well, we kind of did the same thing right here, and that choice is not correct either. So it looks like we're left with only D, construct the angle bisector of RST. In other words, the angle bisector would run about right there, okay, of RST. And then copy one of the bisecting angles. So what that's saying is we're going to bisect this angle and copy one of these. It doesn't matter because they're both going to be 45 degrees. All right, and we can copy either one of them, and we would end up getting... That measures exactly 45 degrees, a new angle. Therefore, our choice is D. If ray BC is the angle bisector of ABC, which of the following is true? So let's just say we've got an angle A, B, and C. A, B and C. And then we have angle BD, which is a bisector of that. What must be true? And again, draw yourselves a picture. There's no shame in doing that. I expect that on the test. Angle ABC is congruent to AB, and I'm sorry, this is D over here. ABC is congruent to ABD. 
Well, no, this cannot possibly be the same size as this entire thing. So let's get rid of that one. Angle ABC is congruent to CBD. Well, that's the same thing as before, just down here. So that's obviously not the right choice. Angle ABD is congruent to CBD. Well, if this is in fact a true bisector, that means that this angle is congruent to this angle. So it looks like that may be a viable solution right there. And finally, D, let's go ahead and make sure we're looking at all the choices. Angle CBD is congruent to CBA. Well, this angle is in no way exactly the same as this entire thing here. So we can eliminate choice D. C is our answer. Jessica made this construction with a compass and a straight edge. Okay. Which statement must be true about this construction? All right. So it looks to me like she's trying to copy a line segment. Okay. Line JK and LP are congruent. It looks like that's our choice. But let's go ahead and take a look at the other ones quickly. Line segment JK and LM are congruent. Well, obviously this one's a ton longer than that one just by looking at it, but we can tell that she measured here this on her compass and then swung an arc with the same compass measure there. So it's obviously not going to be congruent with that. So let's get rid of that one. Line segment line segments J, K, and P, M are congruent. Okay. Well, that may be the case, but we don't know that. We absolutely don't know that. All right. So let's get rid of that one. And point P is the midpoint of L and M. Again, it could be, but we don't know that's for sure. All right. One thing we do know is that A, line segment J, and K, and LP are congruent. So that's our choice. Now, what construction did Jessica make? What does this look like to you? Are we copying a are we copying an angle there? No, I don't think we are. Are we copying a line segment? That looks more like the choice. This looks just like copying a line segment, so let's go ahead and circle that one just in case. Are we bisecting an angle there? No, obviously we're not bisecting an angle. If we were bisecting an angle, we'd, we'd have something that looks like this. And bisecting a line segment. If we were bisecting a line segment, it would look something like this, not like that. So our choice is B. On our next video, we're going to be talking about Coach Book 8, Constructions, Parallel, and Perpendicular Lines. We'll have that coming up next.